Viewer discretion is advised. Hello everybody, welcome back, I'm Kisei Bob, we're back with the series called Learning About Minecraft. It's where, in this series, we learn about the game that you play every day of the world of Minecraft. So, let's just get on, on with this. Previously, last episode, we went over the alpha phase. And we ended off with the nether. And this was big because that added a new world. And as I explained the last episode, or I think I basically just talked about how amazing I built this, but sorry for that. <clears throat> sorry it's been a while since I uploaded a, one, another one of these. I don't think anyone cares, but you know, it's good to... Yeah! It's good to, <laughs> good to do this. So let's start off with the next phase, which is called the beta phase. You heard of this. I know a lot of you have. You played through this. But did you know it lasted through... It started on December 20th of 2010, and it ended on September 15th of 2011. So almost a full year with three months to, to spare. So, in beta 1.0, which was released on December 20th, 2010, it released working side inventories and added in capes for Mojang employees. And this is a great example, because I made this. And it, it, it reminded me of a, of, a, of Noxious Cape, so I guess, I think this is what it is, Noxious Cape, they just add, and yeah, there's no, yeah, it is. And also another thing to note, if you put a Notch, or like a golden mm -hmm. apple with, um, bone meal on a red flag, it says white thing. Like, it literally says white thing, like, it doesn't know the logo of Mojang, like, this is Mojang's logo here, and it doesn't know it. Huh. <sighs> Up next is Bayo 1.2. And this was released on January, January 13th of 2011. Now we're in 2011. And I'll explain why that year is very big for Minecraft in general. So beta 1.2. What is this added in? Charcoal, note block, dyes, all the dyes. Not just an ink sack, all the dyes. Sugar, dispensers, lapis lily block, bone meal, and sandstone. And also, there's a new mob, which is called a squid. This guy, this guy's squid. And I just remembered something else before I made that last cut. Banners were not added in, in beta 1.0. This was not like, this is just a, represent, a representation of what the caves look like. Banners did not exist in the game of Minecraft yet. I it just, I added this in just because it looked like it. But squids, useless mob of the game. Hopefully they get, they get more of a, more... Uh, I mean, after this, squids do nothing, basically, even to, like, the modern versions, they do nothing. And you saw a quick glimpse, because I'm just spoiling everything here. <laughs> We're going to beta 1.3, which was released on February 22nd, 2011. So that in three, or I say five, new things. The redstone repeaters, bed, and there are three new slabs, the sandstone, the wooden slab, and the cobblestone slab. These three slabs were added in. And of course, I can't sleep in the bed yet, because I need to be night, and the repeaters, you know, you do the signal, it makes the signal go longer, or it takes longer times. So that, we have a little bit more redstone here on the timeline, which is nice to see. Now let's go into beta 1.4, which was released on March 31st, 2011. And I should say first that each of these updates are like by a month now. Then though this was February, you know, this is, that was January, February, March, each of these go by a month. So that's how we get to September, because each update that they do, each major update, each major update is a month, like almost a month apart. So they have cookies! And we also have a wolf, and this wolf, my name is Dick! My wolf, his name is that. Don't judge him. He's, uh, he's a good, good boy. Won't I come with me to explore the rest of the timeline? Come on, go follow, come on. Come on, Dick! Now let's go on the beta 1.5, which was released on April 19th of 2011. This added in statistics and achievements, new types of rails, and added birch and spruce saplings. Now the new type of rail that I can only imagine were like, I, it was one of these, it's not that rail, but it's one of these three rails. I may, I, I, I really like couldn't find which type of rails they were. But they added in statistics and achievements, you know, this, you know, achievements, statistics. Boom. So we got that. 
Come on, Dick. Come on. I'm going over the beta 1.6 now, which was released on May 26th of 2011, adding maps, trapdoors, and nether to multiplayer, which is really good. You can have people in multiplayer servers, which that's what people like playing. Multiplayer survival servers. Now they can access the nether. This thing I was adding in the last version of the alpha. Now it, it's... It took some time, took a few months, but it's finally a multiplayer. Because I guess, considering that the portal working, you know, everything that sort of needs to be fixed, I can see how Nether and multiplayer can be a bit tricky when they first started out. Or how they developed it, but you know, I, I can see that. I can see how it took a few months. So, enough of Obey 1.6. Let's go on to 1.7. I'm going rationally fast because, uh, I'm trying to... Make you feel quick and all. Not for anything specific reason, just because. Nothing really much to explain. Oh, you finally come. Dick! Okay, you're sort of. I can't show my camera towards you because it's sort of reveal the next version. But Beta 1.7, which was released on June 30th of 2011. Oh, there you are, Dick! <laughs> this added in pistons and shears. Pistons to push blocks. Another redstone thing, which I consider, and shears. So now you can shear leaves and sheep, so instead of punching a sheep to get wool, you can now shear a sheep. Or even killing a sheep, you don't have to kill the sheep anymore, you just shear the sheep with the shears. So let's go on to the last version of the beta. So, Dick! How, you, you excited? You excited for this, this last update? It's pretty big, pretty you know, sizable update. You ready for this? Ready for this? Ready for it, Dick? Well, you sort of already see come you're sort of in front of me, but... Beta 1.8, the adventure update, part 1, which was released on, on September 15th of 2011, 2011. This is a big one. Look at this. Look at the size of this. And I'm going to show you from the very start of this, which was the official release of creative mode. This is big, because for the longest time, ever since the classics, cause they, they removed creative mode in the classics, and they haven't brought it back until now. Of beta 1.8, that's amazing. Then, it's that crazy mode, that's so big. In fact, you can do game mode C, which I'm in now. I couldn't do that. I couldn't do that back before, prior to prior to this. So next up, we have right-clicking swords. Which, it sort of shows peace, but now ever since other versions changed that, it sort of means nothing now, but... Experienced orbs. And no, it's not XP balls. They were not added in experienced orbs. You know, the thing where if I were to demonstrate, or a matter of fact, these experience orbs, those things, I can't actually put them on an item frame, so. <laughs> Next we have sprinting. Which, this, before you couldn't, it was just straight walking like this. Parkour didn't exist either, so. That's invented, that exists now. We also have uh, structures such as villages, strongholds, abandoned mine shafts, ravines. All that stuff. Then there's more blocks, variations, like stone bricks, stone brick slabs and stairs, and brick uh, slabs and stairs. All that to help with building. Also, you have fence gates, so you can put animals through fence gates instead of doing that weird thing where you just throw them over a cliff and go into a fence pen. You know, all those day glory days. Next, you have a glass pane, iron bars, new type of blocks, sort of singular blocking like that next we have melons and also the melon block and the melon food so you can eat it and then we have ender pearls and what what what, what can we use with ender pearls hmm we could teleport and all that you know good stuff for map makers who could teleport with ender pearls and where do ender pearls come from rain ruined it and also you sort of see on the right side of my screen enderman Silverfish and cave spiders were also added in. It's actually Endermen were added in, but there's no end yet. So where were they? I can only say that they're in either you can get the game in creative menu, which was added in, in one point beta one point eight, or they spawned in the overworld. So that seemed like a reasonable place. I feel like they spawned in the overworld and they creeped you out, creating the noises. Of course, I can't add them in here because then they'll teleport away. But we have the silverfish and cave spiders. And we'll open it up because in case I turn to get out and I have to kill it, then I have to push a new one down. So let's just load that back up, which I did. 
but these mobs were added in. So, so guys, hope you enjoyed the beta era. This is it. What do you think, Dick? You enjoy that? Enjoy the update? It's the first time I had a companion on, on the timeline. On this timeline. Oh, you're walking away from me? Alright. I'm grateful, but. <laughs> but anyway, guys, if you enjoy this episode, please like and subscribe. And just comment what's your favorite part of the beta. Because I, I know one of you who watches my videos must have played through the beta phase. So, comment that. Comment down below your best experience. Oh, you're back. I take back the ungrateful mutt thing that I just m murmured to my audience. Uh, like, watch the vi watch more of these kind of videos because I will. Like, I'm sorry for that long break that I had, so sort of had more videos to upload. Oh, you're walking away from me again. You know what? I'm not mad anymore. F uh, stop coming up, running back to me. Just, just goodbye, everyone. Uh, he's he's embarrassing me. I'm sorry. Goodbye.